All right, day at my job. Walk outside, grab a hat, put the hat on. Oh, got her lights off. Then gotta pick out work shoes. Uh, them look good. So now we need to make money. Or at least try. So let's grab the dirt box here. So here I am, I got all these Jeeps over here. And these are the ones that I fix, sell, restore, whatever, they, they're usable. So like this one here, pretty sure it just needs a set of pistons in it. That's what I'm hoping for, maybe a motor, but oh, uh, let's see. Yeah, it's not bad. I think I got a title, I think it's a repo. So that's how I kind of make a living nowadays. And that's what like local people get so mad because I won't do public mechanic work and don't get me wrong i understand it but this is what's happened over the years is i couldn't say no and i've accumulated like a hundred of these and as long as i'm stuck in the shop changing your brakes or you know minor mechanic work these just accumulate so i've kind of shot myself in the foot until i learned just to lay my and say no so this is what i do it's a dream come true work at my own pace you know i actually enjoy it so, and that's like the junk, well, let me go show you the junkyard. I'm sure most of you have seen it, but probably something you don't know about it. My work shoes ain't very waterproof. So if you look, I know it looks just like a bunch of random vehicles sitting, but if you draw a line right down through there from the taco and the red one, all of them and over still are like basically full Jeeps. So I got to part them out. I used to have employees, but it's just me now. So I got a lot of work to do. So the Jeep does run, but I think it runs. It did run when I parked it, so that's been a month ago. But we'll go get a handy sky track, pick it up, be safe, try not to damage the cylinder walls. And... Everybody's got a little 4B coming. About that Cherokee yesterday, all my trappers, that was going to scrap about it by. So all y'all haters that say I'm the one raising prices, no. But it turns out it's stolen, so that's just something I deal with on a daily. I do love this motor, but it's so loud. I gotta say, it's here when I ride around. Right. Well, I'm gonna try to get I usually work out of this bay over here with that lift. It's got a door and a door so you can drive through, but this one don't have a drive through, so I'm having to spin the Jeep over. Well, I got straight the steering wheel first. Woo, what a morning. All right, it's lunchtime. All right, back from lunch, got it in the shop. And just kind of this video, people will ask how I make a living. They think it's all from social media, but it's not. Oh, truck. I mean, I know y'all probably don't care, but I'm just gonna show you because I was doing it. Come on, light. Uh, some old guy's truck, he got so old he quit driving and he eventually passed away. Left it to, I guess, his kids. They didn't want it, so I bought it for a little nothing. Got it running, now it's a good truck. So just this little side hustle like the, you know, I do with the Jeeps. But slow money, but it makes money. It just takes a long time. So got it in the shop. I'm gonna hook the jumping battery up. I think this motor runs, but I don't think it sounds good. It's got good antifreeze. So yeah, let me get a battery on it. Right, turn the light on so y'all can see. Actually, that's the wrong light. Don't need that. I think it's gonna crank. He was trying. Come on. May have to get a hotter battery. Mm. 
me go find a battery. All right, well, a little change of plans. I was getting a battery and that ain't right. So I don't think I can get the camera up there. Maybe I can. Let's see, where's it at? Oh, I can't tell what I'm looking at. There, maybe y'all are seeing it. It's somewhere up in there, but there's a uh, hole in the oil pan. So it's not good. I think I'm gonna take the head off and see what the cylinder looks like. So what I, I could put motors in, but if I start doing the math for what I make a day labor wise versus what the motor brings, it's almost beneficial for me to fix these and then sell the used motors to people that don't want to fix theirs. So, I've got it figured out, it just takes forever. So I'm gonna get this tore apart. It's not gonna be a detailed video, but I'm gonna get the head off of it. That's what I meant to add. If the coolant's good, that means the cylinder wall is not busted. So maybe able just to hone it, but I got it. the head's coming off regardless because it goes across the road to get fixed up. So yeah. One more thing, I started time lapse, I actually backed up, but you can see, still see 100% complete. Uh, just all I've done is pulled the drain plug. So let's see, 211, 211. 11. So I'm not changing the time on three phones. 212 on that one. So yeah, here we go. All right, I don't know if I beat my record or not. My record is 29 minutes. That one, 240, 240, 240. Uh, what I say is 211. So that's, that's 29 minutes, my gosh. Uh, let's see. Turn the light on for y'all. Not the results I was looking for, I don't think, but it's all good. So this might be the like the second ever first second first one I've ever seen with a throwed rod. It's always the piston, but this one may actually be. Oh, there's some. Well, I don't really tell nothing. Oh, well, I guess the next step is oil pan. No, well that's twisted. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe wasting my time. Yeah. Sometimes there's material down in them converters. Oh, uh, okay. I'm gonna work on getting that off there. I think I gotta go help a farmer get his tractor unstuck. All right. That's kind of weird. Like I said, I ain't never seen many four O's actually sling a rod, but y'all might can see better than I can. I don't think so. There's one angle you can get and actually see the, uh, connecting rod, not the connecting rod, the crankshaft, and it don't look terrible. And I seen an oil pan gasket is blue, which means it's been into. So I wonder if somebody did rod bearing because of a cracked piston and forgot to torque the rod. So I'm gonna drain the oil. I might let y'all see that and then we'll pop the oil pan off. That's, I know somebody's gonna be commenting that I'm wasting my time. It took me 29 minutes to get the head off. Okay, so if I gotta swap the motor, I'm already taking off the things that I took off in the first place. So. Is it wasting time? No, maybe, kinda. And just like pulling an oil pan. So, I mean, if this motor's shot and it's gotta come back out, I don't really think I've wasted time. I may have just, you know, took a little extra time to save some other motors. All right, I got the drain plug broke loose. I got a clean pan, but with somebody that's always blowing up differentials around here, it's kinda hard to keep a clean pan. Well, it seems to be a rod. No, I think it's just lower wool. Yeah, right, it's lower wool. But there's not metal in it. I don't know, this is a weird situation. So I'm gonna let that drain and I'll get back with you when I know something for sure. All right, if I can drop the pan. That don't sound good at all. That's not made up, I promise. Holy crap. Sounds like... No way. Feels exactly what I thought. I am not making this up. I seriously thought that the blah, 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 come on, bolted. I really think that that's what happened. See, there's both of them. They're not broke, they're knocked out. See, just bang, bang, bang down there. And there's more of the rod. I ain't even looked at this. So I said, I mean, obviously I'm not gonna fix it, but 
That's exactly what happened. That piston's busted up there too. Well, how about that? I was actually right about something about a Jeep. Now what I do? Uh, I don't know. I guess it needs a motor. There's a rod bearing. Yeah, you can feel it's thin. Probably just started coming loose. There's a nut, that's crazy. All right, I'm gonna talk on the phone. All right, got my game plan. This motor is a no good. Uh, it's just no good. Oh yeah, the block? No, I don't think the block's good because people drive by and floor Oh, uh, that's rusty, which leads me to believe that that cylinder wall is busted. It pushed some water up there. No, because the oil's good. I don't know. Regardless, the Jeep's getting a motor. I'm gonna let it drip dry. I'm gonna pressure wash it because you can tell. I'm just gonna assume this is a female. I could be racist for saying that, but there's oil everywhere. So I'm gonna let it drip dry and then pressure wash it so I'm not just filthy. And that's what's crazy. This head should be good, but if you look right there, there's a little gray line. That's where, where is it at? 0331 heads. Where's the year model? 2000, that's the year model. Those are just known for cracking. No reason at all. Uh, just a bad casting. So if you, one little trick. I'm gonna show you the motor that's going back in it. It's the only one I've got out. And Mark's got my shock tied up, so it is what it is. Could get the one out of the RC car Jeep. It runs good. But this is one to come out of a toy. And honest to goodness, it had low miles, but this is why I don't like selling my miles. I mean, it's good. Like, I know it's good, but it's horrible. Look, uh, just muddy, caked up mud. So yeah, it'll be all right. I'll probably throw a lift kit on that Jeep and obviously I'll run it around, make sure it's all good. But as far as y'all, it may just be a while before I get back with you. All right, morning time. Got this one pressure wash, letting it dry, got a fan. This motor actually cleaned up pretty good. And I did a short video, don't know if I ever even post it, but it's got a Pruitt Auto. No idea what that means, but that means it's a used motor. Uh, letting that dry, I decided I got another Jeep. You know, it's a fixer upper. And see if it crank. Most definitely got a burnt valve. And I'm pretty sure it's pissing. So, oddly enough, it. This Jeep may get that Jeep's head, but I don't think I'm gonna film all of this process, so I gotta get some work done. I'll let you know on that when I get going. All right, yeah, another dangerous thunderstorm. Imagine that. Uh, fixing to get the motor out of that one, I just decided I'd show y'all this. Uh, this motor is also a, uh, from a junkyard. It's got a junkyard riding on there. And GoPros don't like to like this, but crack, and then a crack, and then a crack. And I think that's, uh, no, that one's about to come apart, or crack. So yeah, definitely a noise on that issue, so. That Jeep. Uh, i probably lift it, make it look different, but. Uh, yeah, all right, I'm gonna get this motor out. Pressure washed it, this thing's drying up. So, get to work. All right, I was gonna show you this pretty, pretty, uh, Ironic, the, I took the head off this motor. I just showed y'all that. Oh, there's the old motor laying out there. Ironically, this Jeep was one, I don't think I told you about it, had a, all the busted pistons, and just so happened that head was usable. So Justin Reese, well, he didn't resurface, he checked it. It's straight, and he put new valve seals on there. So that head off that Jeep is now gonna be on this Jeep, and there's some new pistons. So just kind of cool how everything gets pieced together around here. And I know somebody's gonna ask about like new parts. I have to draw a line. If they're my vehicles, I'll put a bunch of money into them, but this is how I make a living. So I have to draw a line, do the best I can, so. All right, it's Friday. I want this Jeep off the lift. It's got motor, it's gotta go in there. And usually I pull the front clip off for some reason this and, yeah, I forgot how I took it apart. So I'm gonna try to like, the motor. I think I changed my mind. It's fender has a massive dent. So to get the fender off, you gotta pull the bumper off. The bumper's faded. So I think I'm gonna pull the front clip. Actually, let's go see if we even got a fender before we start doing any of that. All right, we'll check this 
first row. That one's red. That one's red. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, we got a dent. I did find not that one or oh, that hood's not good. That one's good, but I don't know. I feel like I've only got a few white fenders, so that Jeep up there is not going to be like a 10 out of 10. That one's kind of okay. So I think I'm going to go back to my original plan, plan and just put the motor in. Sorry about crash there, but yeah, that Jeep's not going to be a 10 out of 10, so we may just leave it alone and let it bring what it brings. Wow, that was an absolute disaster. Totally don't recommend that, but it's in there. And you can see, I think I've taught a short video on this, but there's absolutely no motor mount. So it's sitting like on the cross member. And you can see, I mean, it's like a dream come true to get to the top bolts. So I'm gonna get all this buttoned up and let y'all follow along as I go. All right, got the motor in. I don't know if y'all can see, but it's in there doing an oil change. And always let them sit and drip lunchtime. So drip the oil, crank it up. I'm so busy trying to get this done. It's Friday, it's hot. It's almost Friday's over. But I got paint screens here. Paint, paint, whatever them things are, paint screens, I reckon. And like over there, I don't know if you can see, there's a five gallon square thing. Oh, I'll, I'll drain the antifreeze out of these used Jeeps. And if it looks pretty good, I'll save it in those, and then if it's bad, you know, I won't use it, I'll use it on a tire or something like that. And I'll check it for temperature, and sometimes I'll even add new to make good, but, uh, yeah, need to top it off. Well, you can see, if I can do this one-handed. That's used filtered stuff there, so it's, it's pretty good. So, yeah, let me top it off and fire this thing up. Yeah, I got one of these funnels, they're so cool. You know, that way when you crank it up, if this motor has a thermostat, I hope it does, but like I said, it's a crappy Jeep that come out of, but you can just leave it there and I'll try my best to get it on video, but I don't know what degree thermostat is in it, if it's even got. Hell, let's just fire it up. Watching for oil pressure. Always miss something. I feel like there's something I forgot to hook up. Hot got me distracted. Oh, I ain't got a bolt on that ground. Look at there. Oh, I'm being a liar, like proving my point, but look at uh, that stud right there. There's no nut on there, so let me tighten that up. All right, somebody tried to get it off there with vice grips, but luckily there was enough thread to uh, tighten nut down. And that's what I was gonna say. I promise, 100% promise you, I am not a fake person. I see channels that make up fake scenes for content that'll never be me i just I, I ain't desperate enough for all the views and all that crap so hope that's it oh. all right let me do some more studying goodness it's spot. all right i'm glad i just said what i just said because i promise you i'm not making this up and i don't even know why but the fuel pump relay is just missing i have no idea why because the jeep actually run at one time i don't know somebody well i when i first bought it i crunk it up so again try not to be fake yeah i hear it running now give it a couple primes what are you there oil pressure oil pressure yeah we good well i don't know have an explanation for that because i don't I don't know. Got a little lift going on. Should go away when it warms up. So yeah, I have no idea how long this video is. I'm fixing to go across the. Well, I gotta drive the Jeep first. So yeah, we're gonna wait on all the bubbles to quit bubbling. 
He's about 170. It's where they open up for 195. Oh, I'm missing it. All right, I gotta check the transmission fluid before I drive, but one cool thing about this is you can stick that in there. And I usually put it over in there. So now, take that, of course it's gonna spill, make a mess. You can put it over here and pull that orange thing and drain it into that one. So, one little trick. Of course, there's low transmission fluid. I don't know who did the maintenance on this Jeep, but uh, they didn't do good. I don't even think, well, the wishbone back there they started the nut and just left it, so it's flopping around, so I can't get it out. And, oh, I don't think I told y'all, before I took the oil pan off, I already knew that my philosophy was probably right because they had the oil pan bolts and the dust cover, just a sloppy mechanic. Seemed like there's something else. But you get some transmission fluid in it, we'll take it for a drive. Of course, windows don't work, but part of it. Well, it's moving. Almost out of gas, of course. I don't think I've ever bought a Jeep that had over a quarter of a tank. Every single one of them. So, let me go down the road here. Well, drive down the road. It's got the normal WJ rattles. I think only two windows work. Got to do a headliner. And I'm probably gonna put a lift on this one. It seems to sell, but it's like, I could stop right now and sell it the way it is, but it's just, I've got a reputation of where I'm from that I sell good stuff, so I'll go through and I fix everything. Every rattle, every creek. You know, it might leak a drop of oil or something stupid like that, but I got the parts and I know how to do it. It don't take me long, so all the windows get fixed. And yeah, so I don't know if I'll tag y'all along with that because like I said, I, these videos do take time. Uh, yeah, appreciate it if you watched. Hope you enjoy, hope I get better. Whatever, see ya. Yeah, see you later.